Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at and see how much your electricity consumption is at. Or more precisely, we are going to find out and see how you can measure it and see how much is used. To be able to go to alternative sources, we need to understand how much we are using and what part of our life is using that. If we take a look at the equipment in question, as you can see here there are several types of meters that you can use for actually determining the amount of electricity a certain appliance is using or for instance your whole house is using. The most obvious one that many people forget about when you start with for instance solar or just want to check out electricity that is used is the actual grid meter. Most people have a grid meter like this one. They, most people also get a bill from the grid company that actually shows how much electricity is used per month even per week or per day and in some cases actually even per hour. So by checking that out you actually could have a hunch on what is being used. And some of the grid meters is actually such good grid meters in digital form that they show the current usage. And if you check the current usage you can go ahead and walk around the house and turn on and off stuff and you will see how much is used for that. But today we are going to take a look at all the devices that I have here in front of you. And what's important here is that I have links down below for everything on this bench if you want to buy anything and start metering yourself. The most obvious one that is easiest for you guys to actually start looking at is this plug-in electricity meter. They will be able to measure current, current usage, voltage, the current itself, any wattage and even the electricity over time. So this is a very very good unit if you for instance want to check out your fridge or freezer or anything other that doesn't always draw the same amount of current all the time. If so, take a look at this meter and get you a couple of those because they are really handy and very very simple to plug in. The next type of meter is if you install a meter like this one. This one here is almost the same as many of the grid uh, meters that come from a grid company. This one in question here has pulse output and also Modbus output. I did a video about this earlier and if you want to check that out it's up here in the corner where I hook this up to the Grafana and Raspberry Pi image. This one also exists in a one phase version and then it's much cheaper. I have linked in those as well and I am currently using them to measuring the current going in and out of my inverters and also to the different houses I have on my property. More videos to come about this. The next one that is very very handy in terms of usage of different appliances I would say is actually this tool here. This tool is simple in such a way it's just a matter of hooking it around a wire and you will be able to measure the current. This one is not always the most appropriate one when it comes to measuring appliances in your home unless you want to go to your breaker box and take one of the wires going out and be able to measure it and you will then see the current going through. By hooking up the cables you will also be able to measure the voltage and as you all know voltage times current gives you the wattage. So that's also very very good when it comes to measuring current in breaker boxes for instance. If we want to automatize this a little bit more there is a lot of stuff on the market like this old stuff here from Plugwise. This one measures current and you can also control the output. I will not talk a lot about this one because it's not that common anymore. On the other hand what I have here is a lot more common today. This appliance is here. This one goes into uh, the wall or into the breaker boxes and this one you plug into the outlet itself and it's very very small. Both of those are wireless and both measure the current including actually being able to turn things on and off. I have tons of these in my house and they can also be controlled by the Raspberry Pi with a Z-Wave controller. So they are really really nifty though a little bit expensive. If you want a cheaper alternative we have it here. The Sonoff. The Sonoff is a little bit little device that comes out like this. They exist in many forms and factors. This particular one here costs somewhere around $9 I think. And this particular one that is a little bit more expensive both can do turn on and off stuff and it can also measure the current and that's very very handy. 
This one can also be hooking up a temperature sensor or stuff other than that. Inside of this one it's driven by an ESP8266 uh, sort of microcontroller. So you can flash this one with your own firmware. In my house I'm using them a lot and I'm using MQTT on them and they are hooked up to my wireless network feeding data to my Raspberry Pi once again. Videos will come about this one and how you hook it up to my Raspberry Pi Grafana image. You also have other types that you can hook up, like this one here for instance if you want to measure the DC voltage to your battery bank. It's very very simple, you have a shunt here. Hooking up the cables you are measuring the voltage drop between those two points when drawing current through and that will show the current here on the display. This one also shows the voltage. Very very simple, very cheap, can be found everywhere. This display here on the other hand is a little bit more advanced. It's for AC. Uh, you pull the wire through here and it will show the current on this display. If you take a look at the image here you will see that it shows the wattage. It shows the cumulative kilowatt hours, it will show the voltage and it will show the current current. Very good little device and very cheap as well. So guys this is just a variety, a small variety of what is available out there for you guys to actually measure in the current. Some are more precise than others but most of them give you a generic figure. A generic figure is what you want and you want to be able to tell what appliances are good or bad in terms of electricity. Because if you, like me, are going the road with a solar, I would say that is the first point that you should be looking at. Because if you're using a lot of power, it's actually cheaper to reduce the usage than getting solar panels. It can also be that you want to reduce your footprint on the environment. It can also be that you only want to save some bucks on your electricity bill. And by doing that, the first thing you need to do is understand where the electricity in your case goes. For instance, just swapping out a light bulb to a lead based one or other kind, especially during the summer when you don't need the heat, can save you a lot of money. There is also other things that can do a lot, but just getting a meter in your house and on big dashboard or big screen can see how much electricity you are using will automatically reduce that a lot. By just doing that in our house I have reduced our electricity bill roughly around 15%. So guys I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a quick short summary of some of the tools that I have been using for measuring electricity in my house. All links are down below if you want to get any one of them. So once again guys I would like to thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I see you next time. Ciao!